Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 and a half Vibe 25RK couples travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside of the RV, and then come back to the outside of the RV. Then we're going to close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside this brand new 2021 and a half Vibe 25RK rear kitchen travel trailer here. And we're going to start here in the back section and kind of work our way around. So on the Vibe, you have a complete new look inside now. So you now have new cabinet colors, floor colors, furniture colors, all kinds of changes. And in this area here, you have the gray cabinetry. So below the sink area there, you have some storage. You have three full extending ball brand drawer guided drawers. Fire extinguisher right there by your entry door there. There's an electric outlet on the end of the countertop there. You have the Furion oven with the built-in light glass front, the little lit up knobs. There's also a pull-out drawer below that that kind of looks like the bottom of an oven, the way they kind of set that up. You have heat vents on the back wall back there. There's an electric outlet on the lower right wall as well, just below the fridge. So your heat vents and stuff blow through the cabinetry, not through the floor. 10.7 12 volt refrigerator there now they do have an option for a smaller gas refrigerator if you want to do the gas electric refrigerator but standard is the larger 12 or sorry 10.7 12 volt refrigerator you have some overhead cabinets up above traditional microwave and some storage beside that as well. And you also have the Furion hood range and fan and light built in. Big window overlooking the campsite area here. So if you're sitting in here kind of doing some dishes or anything like that, doing some cooking, you can look right out over your campsite area here, your main section. And that window opens a lot. It's about 50% uh, window there that does open. So you can get quite a bit of breeze. Even that little window in the back back there opens as well. Now kind of spinning on around here. On the uh, right hand side here behind the TV area, you have a large pantry slash closet area right there. On the end of the entertainment cabinet there, you do have your monitor panel with the uh, tank readers on it, your awning in and out button, slide out in and out button, some light switches, your 12 volt tank heater buttons as well to help you winter camp. Down along the floor area down there, you have your electric box with your breakers and fuses, and you also have your uh, propane leak detector as well. They do have some storage underneath the uh, stereo system there. It has the IRV technology stereo with a couple indoor speakers, and then it also has some outdoor speakers. And you have a nice big TV here mounted to the wall. And it's directly across from your seating and eating area as well. So you have a traditional booth dinette and underneath that booth dinette it does have some storage you have little pull out tub drawer things there big panoramic window view over the back of the slide out area as well now the windows on each end wall of the slide out do actually open but the large ones do not the dinette will go down and make into a bed you basically just use the backs of the uh, dinette cushions to fill in the middle part and that will allow a child or maybe a smaller adult to sleep there. The sofa here does fold out into a big bed as well. Now you could sleep a couple adults here if you needed to, and that basically flips right on out. You can see there in the picture, and you still have a decent amount of room to maneuver around. One other thing I forgot to mention here, you do have the day 
uh, or the night roller shades here that pull down. So those are kind of like blackout shades to really darken it up at nighttime, give you your privacy. All LED lighting throughout the ceiling area up here. And you can see you have ducted air conditioning vents through the roof. There is your Coleman ducted air conditioning system as well. Now, another thing that's kind of neat on these is you can actually slide these open here and dump out 90% of the air right here into the living room if you wanted to. So you can kind of quick cool down this area when you first get there. Um, one other thing I just noticed and forgot to mention, there is a skylight up here in the kitchen area. The grate down there is where your furnace is located, so that's kind of the furnace return as well. Your digital thermostat here that controls your furnace and your air conditioner. Bathroom area here, we're going to pop up some pictures of this as well. But you do have a roof uh, vent up there with a small fan. You have a skylight above the shower. It has the corner glassed in shower area. Over on the left, you've got your sink with some storage area there and a little medicine cabinet over there. And on the right side, you have a pretty good size linen area. You've got a couple little uh, area right there to kind of hang a robe or towel or something up there, but good amount of storage space there. And then you have your toilet paper holder there and your foot flush toilet. Now going on over to this side, you have your master bedroom area here. And this has one of those pivot hinge doors. You can kind of see the hinge system down there. A little bit different. There is room to walk into the bedroom here and maneuver around the bed area. We'll pop up a couple pictures of this as well. But you can walk right on around here fairly easily. There again, room on both sides of the bed. Window on both sides of the bed, and both windows do actually open. Now, in here, you also have pull down roller shades as well. You have the gray cabinets in here, some overhead cabinetry, and then you have a hanging closet on both sides of the bed as well. Now, back in behind there is also a shelf, and then there's actually kind of the base of the storage compartment down there as well. So you could actually kind of put some stuff below the shelf. But you have an electric outlet and USB charger port on both sides of the bed there. And then there is a third electric outlet down here on this side of the bed. And you can also see your heat vent down there as well. Now there are TV hookups on the wall here at the foot of the bed, so you could put your flat screen TV there. The bed does raise up. There is some storage under there, along with some cubbies under there, and even a little area where you could kick your shoes off and push them underneath them. But overall, a pretty decent sized bedroom for a smaller, lighter weight style RV. All right, guys, we are going to head back to the outside, show you around the outside, and then we are going to close everything up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this brand new Vibe 25RK travel trailer here. We are going to start over here on the door side and then kind of work our way around the RV and check it all out. So on the outside of the RV, it is a white fiberglass exterior. The lower portion of it is a black aluminum metal. You do have some little blue, a little bit of silver, some dark blue, light blues, all in the graphics package here. Now across the front section, you do have a large pass-through storage compartment, and there is a light switch right there for the front lights. Now down below, you can also see there's a low point water drain for the freshwater tank right there. 
Then you have power stabilizer jacks. And also there is the sectionalized enclosed underbelly enclosing that frame section there. Just kind of helping extend your camping season a little more into the fall. You have power awning with an LED light strip built in. Has the adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff. There's some more low point water drains just below that arm underneath the bottom there. You have outside TV hookups here. So if you wanted to place a TV outside, you've got a cable outlet and electric outlet here. Your furnace exhaust out right there as well. The unit has the wider stance axle system, which does make it a little more stable when you're traveling down the highway at 65, 70 miles an hour. Just kind of spreads that out a little bit more. You have the upgraded more ride uh, step here, which does come down, touch the ground. It's able to hold up to 500 pounds. So a little more weight than the traditional hover step. And this also has the new adjusters on it to allow for the feet adjustment. There's a little push button on there instead of having to pull the pin. So a little bit more of an upgrade or improvement, not really an upgrade, but an improvement to this version of the more ride step. Also, you'll notice compared to some of the other videos that I've done, this is a little bit wider entry door and step where some of these fifth wheels on some of these lighter weight fifth wheels I've been doing, they're a little bit narrower. You do have two outdoor speakers and they do have the little backlit blue LED lighting. Window in the entry door, large folding entry handle. Your model number is also going to be located next to that entry door there. So if you're out walking around on a dealer's lot looking at an RV, that's where the number is going to be that you need to tell your salesperson what you're uh, actually interested in. They do have a little mini kitchen kind of thing out here. Um, there is a little dump sink here. There's a little spray port down here to hook the hose to. And you have a little mini fridge here as well. And the mini fridge is basically just an electric fridge. It is not a propane style fridge. And then if you wanted to, um, you know, kind of do a little bit of cleanup out here, that type of stuff, there is also a little pull out. I uh, forgot to pull that out a minute ago, but there's a little pull out hot plate or whatever you want to call it, uh, induction stovetop kind of thing. So basically you can do some cooking out here as well. On the back of the RV here, you do have your spare tire with a cover. The cable and satellite inlets are on the lower right corner down there below the taillight. Power cord is the detachable power cord. Comes right out the rear of the RV here. You have a hot and cold outside shower there, along with your black tank flush and your city water inlet also right there. Stove exhaust out the center of the back wall there below the V on the Vibe. And then just above the V and I of the Vibe, you have pre-wire for an observation camera or backup camera type of system. I would definitely recommend the observation camera so you can see while driving down the road. Um, just really kind of helps you when you're trying to change lanes and stuff. Now on the back corner back here, you have your water heater, six gallon gas electric water heater. And the electric switch is in the lower left corner. You got your drain plug there in the center. Now again, this is a rear kitchen. So you have the kitchen in the back, then your bathroom and your bathroom sink and stuff is almost all the way up toward the front. So you'll have two separate dumps on a unit like this uh, because of partially because of the distance it has to travel to, to dump so you can see your kitchen sink water right here. Now the slide out is an electric slide. So you push a button, slide goes in and out. The slide is also pre-set up for slide toppers. The Solair slide topper to be exact. Um, 
there's a little bracket on the top corner of each end there and basically it's already pre-drilled and done by the factory but you can purchase the slide top or aftermarket get you a little track to put it in it'll go right into that track and also you know kind of mount up in there so it does take a little bit of work you got to be a little handy to do something like that so if you're not definitely talk with your salesperson about having their department or somebody do that for you um, so I would definitely recommend a slide topper though if that is something that interests you it just kind of helps uh, shed away the leaves twigs debris um, helps repel a lot of water and things like that when you're out camping now just in front of the slide here is your other little dump section right there you can see so you got your gray and your black water dumping right out here Freshwater tank fill up is located right here. Then you're going to have your stickers, your weight stickers and stuff here. So you're going to see your gross vehicle weight sticker pop up. And basically, the gross vehicle weight is the most you can load the RV up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined that grosses it out at a specific weight. Next, you're going to see your unloaded vehicle weight. And that is what the RV weighed when it rolled off the assembly line. So the empty weight, they call it. And if you take your gross weight minus your empty weight, that'll give you your carrying capacity. Now they're usually off by a few pounds because sometimes the factory already factors in the propane in the tanks or a battery on the front. Every manufacturer does their own kind of little thing. So you will see sometimes they are a few pounds off, but that is why. Next up is going to be your tire sticker, which basically tells you your tire pressure and the tire size that are on the RV. Really, really important guys to check your tire pressure before every trip. Also check your wheel lugs as well to make sure your lug nuts are tightened. Uh, but tire pressure, if the tire pressure gets too low, it can't handle the amount of weight that's sitting on it and then you overload that tire and then blow it out real easy so make sure you check your tire pressure before every trip back here to the front of the rv you have a fiberglass cap or shell on the front of this thing it's thicker and heavier duty than a traditional flat roll front and that is really nice in case of any type of you know water leakage or wind damage kind of thing when these things are going down the road you got to remember you're doing 70 mile an hour down the highway having a thicker heavier duty shell to absorb that wind pressure and the flux in and out road vibrations and stuff it is pretty nice to have that heavier duty shell led light strip across the front there just to kind of brighten this area up at nighttime. it's kind of nice so you're less likely to just Turn the corner and walk into your hitch if you're not uh, used to camping or you know walking around in the dark you do have two 20 pound propane tanks up front here with a changeover regulator in the middle power tongue jack with a built-in led light manual override there's a battery disconnect down there as well and you also have a safety chain setup breakaway cable and your two and five sixteenths hitch bolt the 20 pound propane bottle cover there as well all right guys we are going to head back into the rv close it all up and show you what it looks like closed all right guys we're back inside the rv here again vibe 25 rk and i wanted to show you what it looks like with the slide system closed also i forgot to mention this is the moonshine decor if you like this decor that is what it's called and basically on the decors all they're changing is your sofa and your dinette cushions it doesn't affect the wood or the flooring or any of that type of stuff um, one other thing real quick that i did forget to mention your little entertainment center area here is kind of a whitewash wood it is not the same gray like the doors and stuff all right, so back to the slide coming in. You have the in out button here. Basically, all you gotta do is push that button to bring it in. Obviously, you wanna make sure there is nothing in the way of the floor because you will run it right on over. 
Same thing when you're going out, you want to make sure there is nothing in the way of the slide too close so that it don't push against it when you run it out. Okay, so slide out is now all the way in. Step back here just a little bit so you can see this a little better. So you can walk in your doorway here, get to your closet, get to your TV area. You could sit on the couch if you needed to, use the dinette. You can not get to the bedroom and you could not get to the bathroom. So you will have to bump the room out to do that. Spinning on back around here. So we can get to most of the RV kitchen area here. You got all your cabinetry and stuff over here on the left. You could technically get to your microwave area. You could even possibly do a little bit of cooking on the stove top. You could not open the oven and you cannot get to the refrigerator. So some functionality when it's closed, but not total. And then when you're ready to go back out, hit the out button here. Again, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with more of my RV videos. And also, guys, check out CouchesRVNation.com, guys. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Will definitely save you guys a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested in a new RV. Thanks again, guys, for checking out my video.